bastard deserves to hang. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is where we were. The hell? Chill out, Rich. Plowing angles, scabies. Hey, look, some strays wandered our way. Sod off, freak. All right, maybe we'll do this better this time. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Let's see if we can pay them to leave. Maybe we can make a deal. We'll not plow in bargain with no one. Vengeance. That's what we want. Oh, great. Well. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured algories. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened pustules all over him. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without... Alright, that's fine. We'll skip all that. Majors pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. Fuck off, I'll smash ya. All together! Stand still, damn it! This one? Oh, this one. They don't have any oils. Okay, whatever. so many things I can't use. <laughs> yeah, I need to be level 5, level 8, level 4. 
Okay. I got carrying around a ton of stuff I can't use. Alright, that's fine. What about this stuff? Alright, wings and whatnot. Okay. Oh, crap. <sighs> Let me check something. Okay. <laughs> I have to bring out my chat. Alright, grapes. Probably need to go to somebody and talk about this stuff. are better. These are better, right? Uh, how do I compare left? 26 to 32 is plus 5. Yeah, we'll do that. Chance to cause bleeding. Critical hit damage. Uh, should we go with the blue one or the black one? Probably the blue one because it does a minimum 31 damage. We'll take that. Yeah. It's 29 or 35. Armor piercing, axi sign. Maybe that's the better one to go with. Okay, I guess I only get the silver sword for monsters. Yeah, okay. Steel sword. Okay, oh, that's a silver one. White Widow of the Valley of Flowers. Yeah, okay. Runestone upgrades. Placing an empty socket on a sword to improve its traits. Oh, okay. Can I do that? Chance to freeze. Chance to cause burning. I like that. Yeah, sure. All right. Cool. Okay. All right, armor. That stuff is dumb. Okay, trash this stuff. Drop, drop, drop. Playlist. Playlist. Don't want it. The Nilf guard stuff is trash. Circadian Gapeson. Gampison light armor? That's a plus. Maybe that's good. It looks stupid though. Nilf Guardian pants. Alright, now this is good. Hunting gauntlets. I don't know how to use that. Three armor plus two. Alright, cool. 
What do I do with this? Oh, item durability. Oh no, the stuff can fall apart. Okay. Oh, I guess I won't use that then. Uh, so what? What crap do I have? That I get rid of. Okay. Okay, crafting. I can craft new stuff. <sighs> okay. Bestiary. Meditation. Character. Oh, I got points. Alright. Yeah, I need vitality. Increases potion overdose, oil applied, time slowed. Alright, uh, frenzy, eh, I don't care about that. General. Can I unlock one of these? Maybe that's good, I'll keep that. Okay, upgrade. Yeah. I love Igni. Igni's great. This fast attack damage increased by 10%. Okay, cool. Alright, well, that's already in there. Alright, well, I guess I'm not encumbered anymore. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, gray, though not old. Tis he the peller awaits. Okay. Expecting me. I, as the bones declared I should, they <laughs> shall okay. come whose stench is rape and death, but what? the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. Oh, okay. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Okay, cool. Recognize this? So I'll bust it up. Wood, strong <laughs> smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. I got my blue gloves on now. Okay. With goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper for Anna to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers over still water in the light of a full moon. What? Proper as amulets go. It protected well. She'll never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more got specific? Chicken feet it's around his neck. Speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. <laughs> so, designed to protect her. Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? 
It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Did he just say that? Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? No. No, no. no. Pella don't know. You lie. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. As long as I know where to look. Where to <laughs> He's find like, yeah, whatever. Lost. Lost. Must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Oh, great. Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Not without princess. Without the goat? Impossible. <sighs> no goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. Okay. New quest. Yep. Here are all sorts of stuff. It's probably not good. Hopefully the deer or the goat's not dead. Another clue. Hey, where are you at? Come on. way I think someone's gonna jump out at me <sighs> let's go over here Thank you. 
Where? Here, goat. Here, princess. All right, come on. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. All right, time to try the bell. Come on, let's go see the peller. No, 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 this way. Come on, take you back to the peller. Misses you something awful. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Trying to stay away from these. Come on, damn it. Where'd you go? All right, come on. No, over here. Where the hell did you go? What are you doing? You trying to get me killed? I wish I could use my freaking thing. Us. What is happening right here? Bell for you to follow. You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Every roach. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. Yeah, there's wolves.
All right. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. for you but I'm kind of in a hurry Anna and Tamara they might be in danger the white wolf helped the Pella and so the Pella shall help him okay blood we need blood a living being but about one of those Fine. wolves be right back Uh, okay, I guess we don't need that pot anymore. Is the rat alive? Is it? Spirits had nothing more to say, like where they went or where they are now. You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps, or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. Hmm. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Oh, okay. Well, that's bad. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. Yeah, okay. A botchling. Hmm. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. It is a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Okay. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? <laughs> right. A century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks. 
to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year, but we'll find a way all the same. Oh, okay. The hell is he talking about? I hear you right. You mentioned forefathers' eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die. Their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefathers' Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Wow, okay. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Whoa, okay. Oh, jeez. Push me up and go. All right. All right. Let's go loot these dead bodies. <laughs> Ooh. I'll take that. Crowns. Yep, I'll take that. Yep. He's like standing on a dead body. Where is it? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's all my crap I threw down on the ground. Yep. Wait. Okay, I guess that was it. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's go, Roach. We got this. Go. Why is it getting all dark and cold and creepy out? What a sweet boy! Have mercy! Hey there. <sighs> what does she want? Please, not this. Help an old feeble woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Her cows will croak, her kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. You already look like you got the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. <laughs> the reluctant witcher. Ew. Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Oh, thanks. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood. Just not my specialty. <sighs> Fighting evil. That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Yeah, okay. Fine. I see any damaged shrines. I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts. And the gods will guide ye. You're welcome. Not this. Not again. We are talking about? I fixed it. You're welcome. Alright. Let's go, Roach. Still got that thing on the back. Oh. 
Uh, is there a fire up there? Oh no. Trying to get up this hill. Alright, I'm here. Throw some water on it. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. The stable. What? That's Fire. a bad idea. Blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies at no rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! All right, let's go. Looks like rain. Fuck, that's you. not what I want. You. All right. I know your wife miscarried. What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating me. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Shut up and fight. Huh? Oh. Shit, fire spreading. You okay? I'm not getting the stable guy. <laughs> yeah, I messed that one up. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. <laughs> okay. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife? How'd 
she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? What? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. What? All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me. All right, so he's into soaking. All right. I begged her to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Okay. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Oh, okay. He said he what happened just next? said he didn't know what happened next. Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed. And saw it. It lay there. A tiny thing. Defenseless. On bloodied sheets. Dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time. But that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. Saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and the war could be linked somehow. 
Maybe the fact that she lost it. I doubt it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can wow. bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Okay. Then what do you need the shovel for? A few hours later. A bit further. Follow me. the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Okay, so I guess the fire's out. Here's the spot. a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. It'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, Back to the fortress. Okay. With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. Something fierce! Can't hold it! Calm it somehow! Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. And from then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Okay. This is a lot. So... Oh, jeez. Chill out, Roach. Dang. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... It's a girl. But would Anna have named her? Alright, and then add 
that's gonna play right during the important part. Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But no buts. Just witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Alright, level four. Okay. Making progress. Alright, so he's gone upstairs. So now I summon the lubberkin. The botchling is buried. So I do that now. God's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Slow down. Did it just go through the horse? Okay, nope, we're going out. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Going. 
the hell? Wait, what? Okay, is it here? Uh, All right. Sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Okay. Cool. But these footprints. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Oh, clothes. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Following the spirit of the of the baby here. Let's see, trying to solve this mystery, I suppose. It was refusing to go on a straight line. been here a while. Have they? Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Oh. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is oh, this the animal that maybe. lost one in the smokehouse? There's no head. Head torn clear off. Yep. Takes incredible strength. <laughs> Let's summarize. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Okay. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Okay. Oh, I 
there's a guy in here. Kids in here. Okay. Just barge right in. Who's that? Another room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We have nothing. We knows nothing. Just need what? information. <laughs> okay. Two women, the bloody baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Oh. Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking what? for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and mean? safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another thing. Though anywhere is better than to crow's perch with a baron. Oh, yeah. Why? Because cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. Mm -hmm. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing over the woods, uh -oh, racing around to make their ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Oh, okay. What what is that? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Chris's is is silent of a sudden. And then from the woods a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods big as a barn with horns and two burning coals for eyes okay, okay. beast attacked mrs anna's horse ripped its head off carried her off into the woods our horses mine and miss tamara's got spooked and tore off willy-nilly to the only reason we escaped the miss wanted to go back for her mother but my wife pleaded said she'd die out there alone miss tamara agreed not to go Okay. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why the day? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good oh, okay. good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Uh huh. What marks? These. Well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Oi, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Okay. That will make no sense. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? Uh, she did. I'll do what I can to see that she is. Okay, just pushing me around, all right. Okay. So here our paths diverge. 
Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Okay. Baron, by Tamara, and Oxenford. Alright, well, I think we'll end it there. That's enough of that. Uh, I need to heal a bunch. <laughs> I don't know what Thunderbolt is, but I'm not going to take it. Alright, uh, can we save? Roads right behind the building. At least he didn't come through the wall that time. Hey, buddy. Alright. Okay. Alright, well, we'll head back. I'll call it right here. In the middle of the storm. It will pick up next next week maybe Friday uh, see how far we can go we're gonna pick up and um, find Tamara and Anna and whatever and talk to the Baron <sighs> this is a rough one all right let's save the game here yep call it a day